Master Rain, we are now in Mercer County. Where do you want me to drop you off, sir? Neil said. Range Martin replied. Locate the Roseanne Beauty Salon. Park the car in front and wait for me. It won't take me long. Rain Martin entered the salon and stood by the counter, waiting to be noticed. A woman in her 50s was in the lounge when she noticed. A familiar face came in, Master Martin, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Roseanne, I see that your salon grew perfectly well. Business is good, ha. Huh? Oh yes, Sir Martin, thanks to your unfailing help, to our predicament, things turned out well for us, and we truly owe our gratitude to you. That's nothing, Roseanne. You have been in our family since I was born. It is but right to return your favor. I'm happy you made it big. Congratulations. He shook hands with Mrs. Talbot then left. Rainy Martin came to see Mr. Tom Hendricks, the operations manager of Homewares Depot and was very much surprised of his visit. It's been a long time since our last talk, Rainy Martin. What brought you here so suddenly? Is it not right to see an old trusted friend? Tom, how are you and our business? I'm sorry for not coming here frequently. My work is too heavy to just let it aside. Being a CEO is not only heavy, but the trust that dad has on me is something I can't just take for. Granted, I'm sure you understand. Of course, I do, Rainy. But is this your only purpose of coming here? Maybe you wanted to hear about Miss Talbot. She's getting fine now. She was not the withdrawn and frightened lady anymore. She became sociable and bubbly, so to speak. The only thing we could tell if she has come out completely from her shell is by telling us who I am to her. I've been a close friend to her father and she usually call me Uncle Tom. If that happens, then she's back to her old self that I can assure you, all we can do is wait. How did she change from a withdrawn lady to a sociable one? When that was her true nature, before her accident, is she seeing someone? No, there is no someone. Her mother repeatedly reminded her that it is not time and safe to get involved with a man, knowing that there might be anyone who were looking for them in connection to their escape. She was aware that she couldn't put herself and her parents in danger. What I meant is, if not for her co-worker who had been so patient in befriending her, maybe until this time, she could still be broken and withdrawn. Her co-worker, Melissa, has a very gregarious personality and they jived quite well, though sad to say Melissa left for another city. She is fine. Rainy Martin was quiet for some time and then he said, I guess I have to see her after all. I want to see for myself how she is now. Miss Talbot was talking to her supervisor when she heard her name over the intercom, requesting her to see Mr. Hendricks. And once there, she was thrilled to see Mr. Hendricks's guest. Ray Martin was seated on the lounging chair when Miss Talbot came in, and he was astounded by her looks. He was speechless, and Mr. Hendricks announced that Miss Talbot was here to see him. Miss Talbot was thrilled to see Rain, but she kept it to herself, and instead expressed shyness and said in a timid tone, Mr. Martin, you came. Hi, it's nice to see you again, Monique, was all he could say at that moment. He thought that she became more beautiful and attractive. He couldn't take his eyes off her, that Mr. Hendricks broke his silence. Miss Talbot doesn't want to be obvious. How she felt about meeting Martin, again after her long wait, her heart racing. She couldn't hold her feelings anymore. She came close to him and said, I missed you, Mr. Martin. Monique put her arms around Ray Martin, making him to a standstill. He never expected this kind of behavior from Monique and he suddenly was alarmed. He took away her grasp with a severe stare at her. Stop this, Miss Talbot. This is not proper. You must have forgotten. I am the CEO of this company you're working for and, besides, there was nothing between us, even if I'm a friend to the family. This is unacceptable. I'm sorry if you were offended, but let us face it, 
We can never be close. Why is Rainy Martin cold and hard on Monique? Is there something in his past that affects his behavior toward Monique? Part 13 follows.